Hi, my name is Diaz. Um, I'm the Papa Anonymous. <laughs> um, Papa Anonymous number one. My boy back there. <laughs> one thing, one thing, two. But no, uh, take away some episodes one through four. Um, honestly, I've seen the um, the emotional release for uh, Jordan most more so than um, anything. Um, you know, more than parenting related. I've seen her, um, you know, drop some of the load that she's been carrying, just being able to talk to you guys, you know, um, weekly, you know, two, three times a week, she's, she gets back in and starts recording it. She just pulls her heart into this. Um, funny daddy moments. Right now, I ain't gonna lie, I can't even, I don't even got none, because they so few and far between, because we in um, these phases of the baby, the nonverbal and uh, the one that's almost verbal. Um, Dash and them, me and Dollars, that's my boy. We, we, we'll kick the bubbles all the way from school to picking the babies up. And it's like, when they come, it's like, no. Say, it just get quiet. <laughs> Say, we don't even want to talk no more. <laughs> Once they get in the car, <laughs> crying and shit, talking about some juice, juice, <laughs> juice. We like, no, get some juice when you get home. But, but yeah, no, nah, just to be honest, ain't no real funny daddy moments right now. I am, you know, it's, it's not a bad time, but it's just, I just haven't had one of those standout moments for real um, with the kids. It might just be because it's the winter time too, but we just been cooped in the house. Uh, what did I wish I knew before becoming a dad? Um, uh, I guess I watched um, co-parents. Co-parents. Uh, my whole life, cause my mom and my dad worked together, and they they did a really good job of co-parenting me. So it was like um, one of those things. I don't, don't want to say, it, um, well, they did have breaks. I'm not gonna say it like that, but that's the only thing I wish I knew that. And this is not knocking being married, but just you know being with your spouse for real. Y'all always together, and then the kids is always with y'all. It ain't really no well, you know what I'm saying? For um. You know that that either one of us for real get a break unless it's just yeah you go in the room and you close the door and you get a couple of hours and then I will go right behind you when you come out you know what I'm saying but um the village um we have our village honestly we do have a village but our village is kind of in the same phase as us so it's is it's hard to ask somebody going through the same things you're going through times three you know what I'm saying to do something for you because um. Some of my friends got, you know, some of my friends got three, some of my friends got four, some of my friends got two, and some of my kids have one. And the ones that, that you you know, you probably would ask are the ones with the one kid. But at the same time, it's like, are they willing to take the, the plus three? But it's, it's not a problem because in a very dire, you know what I'm saying, last minute moment, I know somebody, uh, you know, step up. But we do have, we, we, we have a village, but we're working on one. Um, I ain't gonna say broad in our village, but we just working on our kids and their temperament more so, um, so that they're, they're more pleasant to be watched and, you know, things like that because they are, um, they do have some, um, bold personalities, should I say, but, uh, yeah.